Uh, a few more people have joined in. Julian Mitchell again, and I swear if they do it right, and I know this is a big statement, popularity-wise, it might be the next Game of Thrones. Oh, wow. Now. That is a big statement. Which we'll move on to our next uh, topic, which I yeah. didn't think we were going to get to. Game of Thrones is awesome. Yeah. And based on that, Nick, you just finished watching Game of Thrones. You mm-hmm. finally got on the bandwagon. I did. And you binged. You actually went, you were pretty quick. Six but, weeks for seven seasons. Yeah, that is uh, yeah. quite quite impressive. Everybody yeah. listening right now, everybody watching, he just finished it for the first I time. Did. I've been trying to suggest it for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, and now you're in on the fun nick from a person that is so a virgin to game of thrones give us your overview and if you haven't seen it too bad it's already been out for a while game of thrones from a complete novice like yourself you know what like in terms of a summary is that what you want me to do yeah, man, or... what did you think did it live up to the hype we oh. talked about it when we first started yeah. this podcast season seven was being released released or we started the show or whatever yeah and every week we were going to talk about game of thrones stuff but i didn't want to screw it up for you and now you're at that point and we're yeah. almost a year after we're almost a year june 27th will be our first year yeah and now we can talk about it openly absolutely you know what i was i for me, it's the first show, the first episode that I'll always either make or break. And uh, when it came to Game of Thrones, I was like, watch the first episode. I'm like, holy crap, this is a really good show. Like, I could see myself watching this. I remember the first time we sat down and watched it, uh, we saw three episodes in a row. Okay. Well, and that's... stayed up till, uh-huh. like, which for me is late. Like, I'm usually in bed by about nine because, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm up early. But uh, I, we were up till about 1130 which for me is late, Mm -hmm. but I'm like, no, we need to watch another show, another episode, another episode. But uh, yeah, you know what? I, I, it did live up to the hype. Um, I thought the characters um, that were in it, like the ones that you're supposed to hate, you fucking hate. Yeah. Like they were awful character. Like, you know, like Joffrey, (laughs) um, Ramsey's like, I was like, Oh my God, like these people, like, and when they, you know, when things happen to them, yeah, you're yeah, like, because yeah. I don't know, I don't want to spoil it in case no, no, no. you haven't. Go for it. Go for but it. Like, people you know, should have seen it people already. People probably have seen it. But like, you know, when Joffrey died, I remember I was like, hell yeah, it's about time. Like, you text me right away. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this, and you know, and then you see the characters developing. And then uh, with Jon Snow, I'm like. Big story arc, right? Yeah. And well, I remember at the end of season six yeah. or what, or five, was five. it? Five. And I was like, oh my God, they killed him. And he's like, and you're like, yeah, man. Well, he like betrayed the watch. And then I'm like, that's awful. That's bullshit. Like I was upset about it. And then he comes back in like the next episode. And For I'm sure. like, I'm like, okay, everything's good now. We're good. Cause he and, was one of my favorites from the beginning. And I told you that. Yeah. And, now, I, and I was like, well, what happened to Ned Stark? And you're like, he died. I'm like, exactly. Yeah. Like, but. But Ned Stark, but, I loved him too. I was yeah. like, oh. See, and that was the first inkling when I saw it was that this is show was not messing around. Yeah. Like, I haven't read the books. People are going to get got and it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, um, okay, we got Aya some. Aya too is awesome. Aya ended up being awesome. She got yeah. really annoying at a point for me. Yeah. There was close, but yeah. <laughs> uh, KF is awesome. Uh, Game of Thrones, just like me. Bless you, child. You finally caught up. <laughs> Game of Thrones is awesome. Yeah. Joffrey deserved to die that horrible death. Yes, he did. Very true. Agreed. Arturo, welcome to the show. Hey, What's guys, up, at work and my phone percent is pretty low. Might not get to watch the whole podcast. It's okay, dude. Again, it'll be up for 24 hours. And if not, I'm going to put the actual important parts on YouTube. And if not, this is going to be just audio version, uh, which Anthony's going to put on the channel. So if you just want to listen to it, audio headphones at work without having to watch the actual video, it's going to be on there as well. The full thing. Yeah. Julie Mitchell, which is your favorite episode? Red Wedding, Ooh. Hard Red Wedding, Hard Home, or Battle of the Bastards? Battle of the Bastards is the fan favorite, but me personally, I love Hard Home more. Uh, Hard Home which was, was the second last episode, I believe, on four. It's been a while since I saw it, um, but it was that big, big battle. Here, I'll look at it okay. quick. Um, but between the Red Wedding, Battle of the Bastards, and Hard Home, for me, it's Battle of the Bastards. Yeah. I, you know, I loved um, just watching that, watching Ramsey's face at the end, uh, I think was, was what got it for me. I just, uh, I, I thought that one Sorry. was the best one. Eighth episode of the fifth season. So it okay. was the big battle before they killed Jon Snow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay. I, yeah. And I figured that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So between for those me, three. Still Battle, still of, the battle Bastards. of Bastards. Yeah. Absolutely. It is a fan favorite. It yeah. is a fan favorite for sure. Uh, Hard Home was great because it was such an amazing battle. Um, battle of the Bastards, though, it's really tough. The music, I think, got me too. Yeah. 
Like that that song that they play, especially when Snow is looking down and he's about to go for it. Yeah. And like the the way that it made you feel claustrophobic when he was under those bodies, yes. I was yeah. getting choked. Yeah. Um, KF is awesome. I love both. I can't choose. Julian Mitchell, Battle of the Bastards is still awesome, but that was the episode where we saw the Night King, the beginning of the end, and everything's so epic. Very good yeah. point. Uh, KF is awesome. My favorite is probably Tyrion Lannister. LOL, he is hilarious. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Tyr- <laughs> well, and Tyrion's turned into everybody's favorite character yeah pretty much or one of absolutely um, i like jamie lannister too i ended up liking jamie lannister I, a lot I more i like him yeah, yeah. obviously I you just... and then the best thing when you look back on it and it was, there was a meme that was going around and it was remember when you thought this was the worst thing that, like the worst thing anybody <laughs> yeah, did yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was jamie pushing bran out the window yeah and it's just like oh yeah we all thought he was a dick for that <laughs> there's been so many worse things that have happened totally pretty cool pretty awesome keep sending us your stuff on what your favorite game of thrones episodes were um kf is awesome i drink and i know things that is one of the best <laughs> lines ever uh it also that show made me rethink the word but because i think in the first or second episode of the first season where Tyrion pretty much says like the the word but in a sentence negates everything that came before it and oh, yeah. you're getting to your true meaning. So I'm really careful when I say but.